In this video, we're going to go over BERT master pages and page breaks. A master page is used to format usually the header and footer of the report items. And you can apply master, multiple master pages to format separate report items. A master page can be found found over here in your outline and you have under the general properties your name background color orientation type and some header and footer settings height and width for your page you could set the border you could set the padding for your margins and whether to show your header and footer on the first and last page. So you access your footer here in the outline. To view it, you need to click in your report design section, master page. So this is the simple master page that comes by default and just has the new date. So let's add a, a master page to our report. So for this report, we have two tables. One table, this report is for the resale department. One table has a type of seasonal discount and volume discount. And the other has the rest of the types for the same category reseller. So let's pretend that we have two people in the reseller department, but they want their report to look a little bit different for when they go to their meeting. So let's create a couple of master pages for these two tables. So let's add a master page to this report. Go to new master page and we'll change it to this count data and we're going to change this master page click on the master page in your report design and click on your discount data master page and we have a blank master page here we'll insert first the title add a grid and a label, we'll call it discount data. And let's format that real quick. Just a regular title. And let's try adding Add another grid. Add another grid. And we'll have two columns. And we'll just add page count and date. And we won't format that too much. So that's our discount data master page. Now let's go back and add that into our report. And to add that in the report, we go to our table that we're gonna use for the master page and page break. And on the page break, there should be a master page item and we click our master page that we created. And let's run the report. And you'll see we'll have discount data and it's page one of two and our date here. And you see that it got applied to the next page also. So how do we change that? When you added it to the first table, it, it took over your simple master page and added it to the next table. So we can change that one 
back to a simple master page. And run your report. And now we have discount data. And then the out of the box master page. So now we other person wants their report. They want their own title, other other type other products, and they want a little bit different of a master page. So let's create a master page for them. So we'll click new master page and we'll name it other data. And let's say that they want their page to be different. They want their report to be a landscape for, for when they go into the meeting. So we'll make that landscape. And now we'll format their master page. So again, we're going to add in a grid at the top. We call it other data. And at the bottom, uh, let's say they want they want page count instead of page number. And we'll add date. So you could see the orientation is different here. If we go back into our master pages, this one is a regular letter and landscape. So if we go back to our report and we add it again to the second table, properties tab, page break, and now we're going to add other data and we'll run our report. And you could see first table still discount data. Second is other data. And you can see this a little bit better. We export this report to a PDF. Just look. So the first user could take the report. basic and the next user can print the report and take it as a landscape so everyone's happy when you're using master pages so let's also add in another feature page breaks and we don't have much data in this report so if you had a long running report you can add your page break interval to break up your data. But in this report, we also have groups. So let's go and add some page breaks into the group. So the groups are year and month. So we'll add a page break into the year. So we're going to page great page break after the group always for the first table after year and page break after year always in the second table. Now let's see what that looks like. So now we have more pages. The discount data is breaking up by year. We see we still have the same master page for each year and when we get to the other data 
still breaking up by year and then maintaining the master page. And let's just export that, see what it looks like. You have your discount data for each year. And other data. So there is this, you see an extra page there. There, because we had a page break after always, it gave us an extra page. So we should change that to always excluding last page. Same with this table. And now this run. And now you see we don't have the extra page after. So in this video, we went over master pages and page breaks in BERT.